Hello loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so elated to bring to you my newly made over powder room. I am so happy with the finish. I'm so happy with how it turned out. If it is your first time here, I am Ayana Mahalia Dean, and this is where we talk about all things motherhood, lifestyle, and DIY. footage of me um, making over my powder room and uh, before I could do the sit down part I got sick and I felt so conscious about the sound of my voice um, I caught a cough a cold I guess from my son and um, I didn't really want to come on here so I'm like somebody bred up uh, but I thought it might be too much time in between the videos so I decided to just sit down I mean people catch colds this is real life so you know this is just a disclaimer as to why I'm a salad <laughs> uh, but anyway and if me sneeze or cough or snuffle snuffle my nose or you still look anything that is what is going on that's what's happening okay so after doing the laundry room, I thought now is a good time for me to tackle the powder room. It's a small room, it'll be easy, breezy, beautiful, it's gonna be fine. So we go in there and find that the wall is so lean. When you put color against it is when it really, really shows. Even in the corners, like the wall not just lean, the kind of them curvy, there's not a straight edge in there. I have a makeup edge, me, I'm gonna say, want to see me. I want to book up a video that I use at one point to try <laughs> make the edge straight because I don't have the tooling. I'm in here thinking, you know, I'm not a painter, but I'm going to get me a tin of paint and I'm going to just do my thing and it's going to turn out great. I really was in for it. It was very difficult. Um, of course, I went to Rapid and I stopped by the Berger station and I, sp I spoke to a lovely young lady who helped me to mix the paint that I thought I wanted for the wall. Um, I was going for a sagey green. Anybody who's been following me for a long time know my favorite colors are brown and green. So I wanted to, my house is so lightly colored, so minimal, and I thought I will do this very relaxing, sagey green. I want when people enter the bathroom for them to feel like they're in a little world separate from the house just like a little cozy space for them and I want them to feel relaxed as they do you know all the things they need to do so um, I'm thinking sage it's refreshing it's renewing it's great our bathroom will be an experience and the pico de cola and good girl I'm gonna know if I'm my eye I'm gonna know if I'm the base or they mix it with I have no idea what happened but the color just was not what I had envisioned. I didn't like it, so we put it onto the wall. I did the first coat and I thought, this is a little bit too teal. This is not giving me sage. It's giving me aquamarine. It's giving me turquoise. It's giving me deep blue sea. It never did a give what it was supposed to give. So I, I, I just said, all right, one coat. Let's, 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 let's see how it goes. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of scary. The way it's translating, this is the first coat, by the way. I know it doesn't look like magic or whatever. I know it's not wow, but it's very scary right now. I'm just like, is this the right color? I did the second coat and I didn't bother with a third because I figured I will not be able to sleep at night. I'm going to sleep into the O's with that the color into my ball tune. I don't like it. So, I'm going to change it. So, I spoke to my husband about this and I said, Joe, I have to change the color. No, it's a drip.
He didn't really fuss much about me needing to change the color. I think he just knows by now that I know what I want to see. And when I don't see it, I sort of, I have to correct it. And that's the thing about DIYs. They don't always go how you plan right off the bat. So you kind of have to make provision, keep a space there, especially because I'm doing something that I'm not a professional at. I was hardly proficient at painting. <laughs> This space, I'm not even gonna oversell it. Me do me thing and me thing flop. So me just <laughs> say, all right, I am gonna change the color. And I went on Pinterest as good gals do. I was able to find a color that I thought was beautiful, that really gave what I wanted. Um, the feeling I was going for, the subtle, the muted, the understated, but just so potent, so relaxing, so beautiful. I love the color so much. It gives me life. It is Evergreen Fog by Sherwin-Williams. It happens to be the color of the year. Am I going to say? The line is straight. The wall is straight. I'm doing this. It looks straight away, I'm gonna do it though. Guys, sometimes you do it yourself, and sometimes you ask for like a help, of course. Uh, so yeah, I'm really proud of how it turned out. I'm really proud of the powder room. And I just want to encourage you, I mean, when I shared the pictures, a lot of people said that they were really inspired. It was beyond the painting. It was very simple to do. I did not install my shelves myself because I did not have a drill. But I bought a drill to install my plant hanger. Okay, so I'm just taking you through a few of the things uh, that we got before they're staged in the bathroom. This is what they look like. These baskets, I got them from Super Value Hardware. Um, they are really beautiful. This is a water hyacinth. Um, and I can't remember how much they cost, but it really wasn't that expensive. Okay, you might recognize this little one. I'm not sure. I don't think I had her when I did the laundry room uh, video, but then I got her after. So if you're on my Instagram, she used to live in the laundry room, and then she seemed pretty unhappy. So I moved her to the kitchen uh, where she was living by the window. And when I did the shelves in the bathroom, I decided to give her a home in there. And she loves it there. She's very happy. I got her from the plant desk. This is a seagrass basket. I've had it for a while. I got it for a fiddly fig um, from the plant desk. So these are from the same place. My rubber plant will live in it, who happens to also be a ficus. Her name is Selma. Uh, you know, I love candles. I always have so many candles about my house. This one I had from a time before. It's actually Joel's candle, mahogany and vanilla. Um, I don't intend to light it in there. It's really just for staging as well. But this one is open. It's from Daniel Olivia um, and it smells so beautiful. By the way, most of these things are either created or curated by Jamaican entrepreneurs, Jamaican artisans. And this is one such thing. It smells so good. I actually got it in a little gift box for Mother's Day from my physiotherapist. Shout out to Akisha Lee Byfield from Therapeutic Souls. If you need any parts of you to get rub down, rub out, rub in, whichever one, she, <laughs> she know of the door team. Mm -hmm. So my idea for these soaps is that when somebody comes to their house and they use the bathroom, uh, they get one to take home. So I bought a lot of them from Fontana. Um, in the artisanal, the artisan section upstairs, Upper Waterloo Fontana, yes. Um, and I love them so much, they smell so good. So, this dried lavender is also from KW Bloombox. I just love it, it smells so delicious. The vase is actually from uh, Simply Lux Florals. Really cute, really beautiful, really nice, and um, narrow-necked. 
this vase is from Fontana, but the pampas grass, slim pampas, they are natural, they are beautiful, really fluffy. When you put them out in the sunlight, they really open up. These are actually also from Simply um, Lux Florals. So if you're interested in getting some pampas grass, that would be a really nice place to start. I really think I got this vase from Fontana, but I don't remember really and truly. It's a long time ago. <laughs> some of the things I had in my house before, um, but I'm showing you everything from KW. So these sweet water matches and candle. This candle smells so delicious. Do you guys hear my son? I promise nothing is wrong with him. But the candle smells so delicious. I haven't lit it. I don't think I ever will. <laughs> because it smells so good and I don't want it to burn out. But look at these really cutesy matches. And um, this garland, it's just a wooden garland. It's from Drift Home. Love, love, love. All her stuff. Uh, got it in Fontana as well because my favorite place and this bowl was made by Michael Watson um, I'm gonna link his page below I love all his stuff this is just so beautiful it's joining all the next pretty pretty things in the bathroom Okay, my sunny bun just woke up, so I might not have that much time left on here. But um, I just wanted to say, when it comes to DIYs, it does not always work out the way that you want the first time around. And that is absolutely okay. Don't you worry about it. You kind of just need to give yourself a little grace, especially when it's not something that you're a professional at. It. You might not be as proficient as you would hope. Uh, there are a few things I still want to do with the bathroom. I do want to get hand soap and hand lotion hand sanitizer in really beautiful amber bottles. When I get them, I will show you. Okay, that's it for this YouTube video. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, please. I would so love to make it to 1,000. Right? I would so... You come in? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I make new videos whenever I make new videos. So please, please help me get to 1,000 subscribers. It's really encouraging to see you guys like and comment on the video. Tell me what you like about the room. Tell me if you don't like the room. That's also fine with me. I like the room, so I'm good over here. Um, 
feel free to share this video with anybody who you think would be interested in this kind of stuff. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.